Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is the Soulful Stitcher. My name is Melanie and uh, I would just like to thank all of the new people who have discovered my channel. Welcome and uh, all of you who are returning. Thank you and welcome as well. Um, so what is this? This is a floss tube video that's all about cross stitch and sometimes I'll throw in a little personal life thing or personal life update which you know I do have a great one uh, to share today which is my son he uh, is 23 he'll be 24 in February and uh, he called me last week and told me that he is a proud co-owning business owner um, for a business that he, he, he and his uh, best friend from cop or best friend from high school um, have started. I'm really, really proud of them. Really proud of him. Um, and then on Monday, he starts his internship at the accounting firm um, that has been looking at him for the past uh, year or semester, you should say, or a couple semesters. So I'm just extremely proud of him. Um, and with that said, the rest of my family is doing well. My wife's doing awesome. My mother-in-law's doing great. And so am I. We're just living, breathing, working, paying taxes like everybody else. So with that said, let's get on to the real reason why you're here, which is stitching. Um, I have some great things to show you guys today. I'm really proud of myself because I do have a couple finishes. And uh, anybody who's been, you know, who knows me, um, who's been following me, you know, like the last couple years, I would just have all these things and no finishes. And so I'm really proud to say that I have four finishes um, this year. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them. Um, if not, then you can take a look at previous videos. But let me talk about the, the two finishes that I have this year. Um, two of the four. So the first one comes from the <clears throat> October House Fiber Arts, and it is called Into the Garden Softly, and this is what it looks like. And I stitched this on 28 count antique white, um, just a Monaco from Michaels, and I really love it. And so this is completely finished. Well, I'm lying. This is finished, but it's not completely finished because I still need to do the back stitching of the binds. So that's, you know, that it's done. And I love it. It's it's just so soft and dainty. And, and it really does make you think of walking into someone's garden, just slowly, just taking everything in, looking at the flowers, um, even the vines, the fencing. So it really gave me <clears throat> a great feel uh, to stitch that and to finish it. So that's one. The next finish comes from my girl, Liz Matthews. And... Um, and this is called Flowers Always. And this is what the pattern looks like. And this is what my, um, this is what my finish looks like. Okay. Uh, yes, you guys can see that. Now, you'll notice that mine is different. And mine is different because I felt like I wanted to just make that word flowers pop and bright. Because when you go into someone's garden, the flowers are just always so beautiful, so bright, you know. And so I wanted to do some popping on the word flowers. And then down at the bottom, you'll see that I only have one word uh, always stitched on there. And that is because I cut my fabric too short in width. So I could only fit one of the words on there but you know either way I love it I'm glad I finished it and I am going to go to Hobby Lobby on Monday and I'm going to get all the things that I need to finally finish this so stay tuned my next video um, you will see this finally finished because in my group what whip you um, not only have to do four finishes um, for the year, but you also have to finally finish one thing. 
And my group What Whip is awesome. Um, not for any particular reason, except for the fact that it actually challenged me to get things done. And I'm one of those people that is big on reputation. And so my feeling is, how can I get anybody else excited by finishing things if, as their example or leader, I'm not finishing things? So I'm really happy, really grateful that I followed through this year. Follow through reputation, those type of things are really big for me, no matter what type of setting I'm in. Um, and I just kind of felt like I let some of my stitching members down in Soulful Stitching with um, the big uh, event that we have every year, what um, year of whips, um, because I've never met the end goal, but so many people have, you know, so many people, so many members around me have completed things. So I'm really glad that I'm in the spirit of finishing things this year. And I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, that it follows me into next year as well. So let's go ahead and talk about whips. Um, and then after I you know what let me not do whips i meant to do a shout out and i want to give a shout out to Bar barbara's daughter kim uh because she gave me a shout out on her video um and really said some nice things which barbara i mean kim if you're watching thank you so much for the love and the support and the shout out but you need to go and watch her video she's amazing not only does she stitch all these wonderful things but she gets them done literally like by the next video by her next video she has um lots of things done and her creativity is awesome her mom also does a lot of um, arts and craftsy, not arts and craftsy things, but she does sewing and different things and um, made Kim this awesome pillow um, for her birthday. I mean, you really need to check her out. And, and the YouTube, the Fate, the Floss Tube channel is Barbara's Daughter. And then also I want to give a shout out to um, Lady Robin. She is absolutely infectious. Her laughter um, and, and just whimsicalness is so fun I love it and there have been days that I've like been going through my own stuff or just woke up on the wrong side of the bed and I watch her video and immediately I start smiling and laughing um and again uh her floss tube channel is called Lady Robin and also her Instagram um as well you you guys need to check her out she has some great things too um, so I wanted to give the shout outs before I forget now let's get on to whips so um, last time I showed you guys that I had purchased the French Kitchen Club, um, from Inspired Needle, and, um, I can't remember if I, oh no, oh, there we go, okay, I can't remember, um, what I did and did not show you from this, but I'm just going to show you some of my progress, and it might be, showing you the same old thing because I can't remember honey I'm over 40 uh so this is where I'm at for this and this one is the um apple and sage the apple and sage so I'm right up there with the little mm, jars not jars but pitchers that's what I want to say like milk, milk pitcher cream pitcher you know so that's where I'm at with that one and then the only other one I start, the other one that I started is where are you? Is this one. And this one is the the pear and rosemary. That's this one. And my progress for that is right up at the top here. Right up. And and you know, this is the problem with me. You can see that right here. I started this way over here. See that? And there's... I really wasn't trying to take the needle out and do all of that, but let me do it anyway. Okay. So, let me show you. So you see this up at the top, that's where I'm at, okay? And this is where I'm at. But do you see how I started 
way over here and then we have all of this over here and I have got to learn how to judge my centers a lot better than I do um, and I'm thinking about actually ripping this out and restarting it I think I have enough but if not I can go ahead and place an, an order for another scheme of weeks I'm not worried about that but I'm thinking about ripping this out um, but then I don't know I don't know. I just, I know I need to do way better with judging my uh, centers on uh, smaller pieces. Now, on bigger pieces, you know, we always, I always start to the, the left top corner. All right. <clears throat> so, that's my progress for the French Kitchen Club. Next up, let me um, put this away real quick. And while I'm putting this away just for some intermittent chit-chatter, I hope everybody is doing well. Okay. <clears throat> so next up, let's see what we have here. Um, and this is another person I want to give a shout out to, too, is Janet Jabber. She is amazing, too. She's going through a lot of different things. Um, her father uh, has cancer. And, um, you know, I just want to send her some love and just express my support for her. Um, I lost my father when I was 14 to cancer. He had testicular cancer and he had lymph nova cancer. And um, I'm 43 and I still miss him. I, I, there's just, it will, that's a void that will never be filled. So my heart and my sympathies go out to you. And, you know, I just hope you and your family are doing well. And I hope your father's doing well too, because I love the picture that you showed um, of him driving the boat. But um, they are doing a sow. Her and Michelle McGraw. So Janet Jabber and Michelle McGraw are doing a sow on this yonder. And I plan on joining in with them. I have not started yet, just because I have some other things that I want to try to get out the way. But you know how it goes. With the sows, we now are just to the point, we start a sow on a specific date, but there's no end date. You know, if it takes you three years from now to finish a particular sow, hey, it just takes you that long. So I have plenty of time to join in with them. Um, next up, let's see here. What is this? Oh, I'll show that in a second. What is this? Okay. So next up that I'm getting a lot of progress on, this one had been sitting and sitting and sitting for a while, and that is Lantern Lane by Little House Needleworks. Okay. And this is where I am. And I'm using the called for silks with this. <clears throat> And this is where I am at. I'm not sure. Um, okay, it's not too bad. So this is where I'm almost done with the house. And that's pretty much the part that takes the longest, is getting the house done. So I'm almost done with the house, and then I can move on to everything else. And uh, this is really important to me, this milestone, because this has been sitting for several years. And so I'm glad just to be getting some work done on it, you know, so we can just call it quits and, and um, I can start moving on to other things. Next up, <clears throat> what's this? Um, this one is by Love Thy Thread, and it's called All Woman. You guys have seen her a lot. Um, the cool thing is, I have done everything but her blouse, and I now have started to tackle the black in her blouse, and that's going to be a lot of black, let me tell you, a lot so, I really haven't gotten that far in it, but let me see, do I need to, yep, I need to take the needle out and open this up. So, as you can see, I'm getting right in here that black done for her blouse. Let me show you all the way. Yep. But, unfortunately... She is going to be going bye-bye 
for a little bit only because I have some other things that I want to try to get out the way. But um, I think she is going to be um, a January 1st um, start for me possibly um, because that's my birthday month and she's one that I want to get on. She's my nemesis. So I want to get her done. Um, next up is one that you guys haven't seen for a while and I'm getting um, slowly but surely done on it. And it's called Charity for All by Erica Michaels. And this is where I am at on it. And I am using Splendor Silk for this in black. It calls for um, some other colors, but the fabric that I picked out for it, which is 28 count mink, um, you know, just it does better with the all black. And that's what I would prefer to do anyway. So I'm just stitching it in Splendor Silk Black. And this is where I'm at. So the last time you guys seen it, I was up on the second row and now I'm on the third row and I'm getting ready to move to the fourth row. So I'm stitching this one over one on mink, 28 count, with a black Splendor Silk. I love Splendor Silk thread. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we got that one. Next up, oh, I got a couple of things that I need to put away really fast. So I hope everybody else um, has been getting a lot of stitching done. Stitching is just so wonderful, it's so relaxing, and it's just a great, great thing. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And next up, the, another one that I've been working on, getting slowly but surely, and this is by Liz Matthews as well. And this is called Bower Birds. And this is the pattern for that. Okay. And this is where I am. I don't know the color of the fabric. I just purchased it on a whim at my local needle workshop, so I couldn't even begin to tell you. And this is where I'm at. And I'm just stitching it on, oh, this is 40 count, so I'm just stitching it one strand over two. Okay, so now let's talk about what we have going on on Instagram. EJ Creates, a friend of mine, started a sal called Representation Matters. Um, it's all about the Black Lives Mu Movement, diversity, culture, you know, saying no to racism, standing up against all of those, um, you know, bad things that just don't make our country look good or make a person who lives in our country feel good. So um, they are doing, we are doing a, a style called Representation Matters. And so some of the things that I've been working on or changing skin um, tone on uh, for that sow, um, and no, let me stop. No, I didn't change it for the sow. I've changed it because I wanted to represent women of color in my stitching, but I'm using them in the sow. So again, the sow is called Representation Matters and it's on F Instagram. There's something else on Instagram too that goes with it, another hashtag, but unfortunately I don't remember what it is because I haven't been using it. So um, my uh, women of color is the first one. It is called Sunflowers Farm by uh, Corey Batacori. I'm not sure how to say her name. Somebody else out there who speaks French may know. But this is, you know, this is the pattern. It's called Sunflower Farm. And I am stitching this over one on 28 count Monaco. Just again, another Michaels fabric that I um, coffeeed and tea dyed. And this is where I'm at. And as you can see, I've changed her to a woman of color. And I'm stitching it over one using the called for DMC. So the next project project for the Representation Matter Sal is one that you guys are all familiar with, which is 
coincides with the month of November and the American election. It is called Suffrage Act Proclaimed. Excuse me, it's Suffrage Act, but the pattern says Suffrage Act Proclaimed. Okay. And I'm also changing or have changed this to a woman of color. And I'm just stitching this on 32 count. And as you can see here, I've went ahead and changed her to a woman of color. And um, what I've done is I love the fact that this is not really white. And the reason why is because when these women, white or black, were out marching for women's rights, their dresses were dusty, they were hot, they were sweaty, they didn't have pristine white dresses on. So I'm really glad that this was not a crisp white color, but more of like an ecru. And let's see what this one is. Okay. And the last one that I'm using for the Representation Matter Sal is uh, by John Clayton, and the name is Isla. And I am going to be changing her to a woman of color as well. Now, I don't have too much done on here. I'm doing this on an 18-count oatmeal Ada. And right now, the only thing that I've gotten done is part of the candlestick. Part of the candlestick holder that you see right there. That's it. That's all I've done. And I want to get the candlestick done so I can move into the blue part of the dress and start working on her. And I'm just using regular DMC, what it's called for. Okay. So that is it for that. So now let's talk about um, haul. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot to put something away and it's kind of bugging me now. I just have to fix it. OCD moment. Um, so the next thing that I want to talk about is some haul, which it's not a lot at all. And then I'm going to go into the jingling all the way July plans. So for, um, for haul, I have purchased this one little pattern from Stoneworks. No, I'm sorry, October Fiber House again. And it's a really cute little... This, I was looking at October Fiberworks to see if I could find another pattern that was as good as Into the Garden Softly. And I found this one. It's just a cute little thing. Nothing to write home about. It's called Do Come In. So, I got that and I'm just using the regular DMC and a Victorian Motto Thread. So, I'm using a 3371. And then I'm using Frosted Maple by Victorian Motto Thread. So that's going to be pretty. Then next up, I am going to be working on something that is huge. But I am excited, y'all. I'm excited. So this is <clears throat> the Abraham Lincoln Gettysburg Address by Primrose Needleworks, and I am going to be working on this. However, I have changed some of the colors. I do not like this color, this orangey brown. I just, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. So what I have done, and let me tell you, I decided that I didn't like it after I went to Hobby Lobby and purchased all of it. Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. So what I have decided to do, as you can see with these beautiful colors right here, uh, we have, you know, blue, we have green, we have an ecru looking color. No, we have 712. So these are beautiful colors for this. So what I've chosen to do is do the words in black silk 
that's what I'm going to do. And I think that black is going to look good with all of these colors opposed to this. I, I just, that, that doesn't work for me. Doesn't, doesn't work for me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I am going to stitch it over one on this 32 count R and R Irish cream. So that's haul plus a new start that's going to take place. The next piece of haul that I have that I am just absolutely in love with it. I am in love with it. And it is the Louise um, Lallier 1901. I think that's how you say it. If not, I'm sorry. But this is this pattern. This is absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait. We are going to do um, the Sal. And that's another person I forgot to shout out. I'm so sorry is Stacy the 911 stitcher. She gave me a shout out and um you we all know that Stacy is amazing. She has a lot of great things going on. Um those big German shepherds that she has, she's amazing too. So thank you Stacy for the shout out. Um and I'm sorry I had forgotten forgotten you, but I caught it in time, girlfriend. So her and I are going to be doing this starting August 1st. But there's a twist to mine. I am going to be stitching mine on 52 count sesame seed linen. Let's see. This is 52 sesame seed linen legacy. So it's a legacy linen. And I'm going to stitch on it. And you're probably thinking, oh, Melanie, what in the world are you thinking? Honey, let me tell you, I'm already, I'm, listen, I'm already prepared, baby. Listen, let me show you what, because I am not messing around like nobody's business, okay? Already got them ready to go. A new pair of readers. Can't, listen, I am not Superman, and I wasn't given the gift of the best eyesight, so we, we got this thing in the bag. That's how I'm going to get through it. <laughs> that is how I'm going to get through it. With a new pair of readers. And we are going to be ready to go. And I'm going to be stitching this uh, with one strand of DMC. And you're probably thinking, oh, oh, oh. Yes, yes, yes. It looks great. Let me show you. Look right here. Those three little ones. And they look just fine just beautiful no bulkiness no looks absolutely gorgeous but i'm getting ready to contradict myself because i'm going back and forth about the silks but then it's like you know i don't really want to put out almost two hundred dollars for some silk when you know how many patterns and things of floss and uh pat um fabric i can get with two hundred dollars you know, like, listen, for real. So, I I went and just kitted it up with the DMCs. And, let me. Right here. We got Louise all ready to go, honey. We got Louise all ready to go. So I probably will just go ahead and stick with the DMC. Um, I purposely started a couple of those because I wanted to see how the DMC would be. And I know that the silk is, is thinner. But like I said, I'm really just not trying to pay that much for some silk. I, I'm really not. So now let's go ahead and talk about plans for jingling all the way July or some people call it Jolly July or some people call it stitching Christmas in July but I like jingling 
jingle all the way in July. So my plans for that is I'm just going to do four projects. And what that means is I'm going to stitch on one project for seven days out of the month to really get some to get some work into them. If I do all of these 31 projects and all that, I'm only going to get one day worth of stitching and that's not good enough for me. I need to really see some progress in these. So first up is Glitter Village by uh, Country Cottage Needle. Country Cottage Needle Works. Let me make sure I have that right. Yes, I do. That is correct. And I am stitching this over two, two over two, on 20 on 32 count their opalescent glitter fabric and this is where I'm at I'm only on the first one you see why I'm saying you know I'm going to be stitching four projects just giving it one week each because I, I need to get these done guys I do they've just been hanging out for so long and I need to get them done the next one up this doesn't really have anything to do with Christmas or it, it doesn't really have anything. I'm just doing these because I'm thinking snow, winter time, Christmas, so to speak. And this is, the. it's called 12 Cottages. And um, I'll flash it to you real fast because this is a designer on Etsy that does not give you a cover page. So boom, right there, boom, all right. Um, and I'm stitching January, of course, still on January, just stitching it regular with, uh, DMC and I'm stitching, and this is a 40 count fabric and I'm just stitching it one over one. And here I am right here on January and I need to get these done. I do. And so there is another sale called I'll be home and I was going to purchase it and be a part of that, but I'm like, no, Melanie, you already have cottages and houses, 12 of them, 24 of them that you need to get done and, and stop messing around. So I didn't participate in that sale, even though I cheer everybody else on and I want to see, you know, what everybody else is doing. I just decided to go ahead and stick with the series that I already have. Now, another one that I'm working on that, that you guys have seen that I know that I need some serious work on. Where are you, girlfriend? This is the Lavender and Lace Celtic Winter. And y'all know that she's been hanging out for a good three years. And I've had to start it over twice already. So this is where I'm at. And I want to definitely get, get some good progress on her. Good progress. And this is where I'm at. This is just a hand dyed by me using a 28 count um, fabric from Michaels. I already told you last video that I will stitch on a uh, retail store fabric like it ain't nothing but gold. So this is where I'm at with this. So I really need to get, get it in gear. I really do. And then the last project that I'm going to work on for jingling all the way July is another one that's been sitting out here for years and I need to go ahead and get it done and stop messing around and this is which one is this hold on one second guys let me is this the first one yes this is um Country Cottage Village, or Country Cottage Needleworks, excuse me, Santa's Village. And the first one that I'm doing is Santa's House. And this also has been hanging out. I think my wife bought me this for Christmas, literally like three years ago. And I had to restart this because I started it the wrong way and I was going to end up running out of room. And so this is where I'm at for this. And I'm doing this one, supposed to be doing this one with Caroline McNeil, Friday Off the Grid. But if you see her progress, she's knocking it out the park. And here I am, still stuck on house number one. It's a, it, just a hot mess, but we're we not even going to talk about it. We're not even going to talk about it, because it it, my stitching stuff is just a hot mess. But 
that is it. That's all that I have. I really am not buying too much. If anything, just buying floss and kidding up stuff and, you know, got a couple things. But I'm really in the finishing mode. I just want to get some things done. So a we'll recap again. Please go check out Barbara's Daughter. Please go check out Janet Jabber, Stacy 911 Lady Robbins. And I know that there's other stitchers out there too. Um, and I promise I'll get to you guys. But, um... And all four of them um, are great. Thank you so much for the shout out. Thank you for sending people my way. Um, and I just hope you guys have a great stitchy week. And despite, you know, what the media and, and, and people filled with hate tries to get us to believe, just remember there is still wonderful things about America. I am so glad to be an American citizen. So just focus on peace and love and hope, you know, as you go through this week. And you guys just stay blessed and thank you for joining me for my cross stitch video. Have a